Welcome, my name's Damien, application engineer from SolidTech. Today we're going to be talking about the free eDrawings viewer from SolidWorks. So firstly, to download the viewer, we need to go to solidworks.com. Scroll to the bottom to downloads. Find the free CAD tool tab and you'll see eDrawings available in 32-bit or 64-bit. Don't know which system you have. Just check under my computer and right click on my computer properties and it should list the system that you've got in here. Okay, once downloaded and installed, we can use that to view 3D models that have been made inside of SolidWorks. So this is the application that will look like. Uh, we're going to open a trailer that's been modeled in SolidWorks and saved as an eDrawings file. Let's see how we can interrogate and manipulate the file. So the middle button allows me to rotate the file. If we don't have a middle button, we can click the rotate button. Just drag it with our left button. We can also zoom to different areas. We can zoom to fit. We can interrogate by uh, changing it to section views, either using some of the default planes. Flip it, and we can drag those planes to anywhere we want in my model. We can therefore validate that we've got the right wall sections, everything goes together like we'd expect. We can even do it based on a custom plane. Okay, so other things we can do, what might be important is to measure. So providing the designer is in an allowed you to measure the drawing, we can click activate measure and check lengths of lines. Overall length we can see is three meters by seventeen hundred wide. So at this point what I might do is go to my markup tools. And we're gonna make some markups. I'm gonna make one markup in the middle to say Minimum of six millimeters thick, please. And we're going to make one more, which is going to be a dimension markup. So we're just going to click the dimension tool, click on a line, and place it. I'm going to say 1800, please. So we can continue looking around the model. And to review the comments, you can just double click them takes you back to there. We can look at any point in time. I'm even going to add a comment onto here saying this is for comment. Okay, just make it nice and clear. Other things we can see in my tree, I can see uh, different the whole tree. I can look for leaf springs, I can look for wheels, so I can find the whole wheel and tire. You can even say I want to move these components and you'll see the little triads let you drag them in specific directions so we can move it around and look in behind my uh, geometry. Or you can do a free drag where you just drag it to wherever you want. Okay. In addition you'll see there's even an exploded view that's been saved by the designer so we can look at that exploded view straight away or not and what else we'll also see at the bottom there's three tabs and these are the three different versions of the design saved and they saved them in the drawings for my review so we can see in here I've got uh, one with ramps and I've also got one with a boat on the back one last thing you'll notice at the top right there's a button for mass properties this tells me about the materials, densities, mass and volume of my components. Thank you for listening.